Ah! You ever have those days where like, your depth perception is just off? Holy smokes. Like I thought you were just so much closer through it and I was like, that's not gonna get there. And then it did, so we're good. Shouldn't have said anything. All right. What do you wanna focus on? Do you know data analytics? Yeah. With your tilt, with your approach angle, with your spin, I would say put more emphasis on down and up rather than like east-west. Yeah, like I think east-west is gonna kind of take care of itself, right? Like if we're really realistically going up, down, what are the odds that it's in the middle of the plate every time? And the reason why I say that with you is because you have natural cut aside from the times where I think you go up because then you have run. Yeah. So when I was watching you last time, I had the idea of like, oh, well, what if we just went down and up and down, like I'm not putting anything in your head to try to like make anything different for you mechanically, but what if down it cut at the end and what if up it ran? Yeah. Now you have freaking a huge gap yeah. to cover as a hitter, right? So I would say like, let's focus on that for like the first five to 10 like down fastball, down fastball. All right, now up, up, and up competitively, right? Like you have such high, you have you have a seven, seven foot release height, right? You're still gonna have to throw it down, right? Like you're not getting under the ball. So to the hitter, I would say a competitive pitch out of the hand to where they can't just check out and give up, right? And then we'll focus on like some breakers. Do you feel yourself giving in to throw a strike? Strike isn't necessarily a competitive pitch. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I've been in that habit too, yeah. like, I battled like with the yips and all that stuff throughout my career. That's what happened. Yeah, like probably very similar story. And then it's like you finally overcome it and then you're like, oh, I can throw strikes. And then you fill it up. And then there's an idea in your head where you're just like, all right, just throw a strike. Or it's like, don't, I don't want to watch. That's the last thing I want to do is watch you guys. Yeah. So I'm like 2-1, like I could yeah. bury a slider that probably would be a swing. Yeah. Or just throw it over the middle of the plate. And like yeah. that's, that's where it's like not competitive, I guess. Yeah. I would say every pitch you throw is as competitive as possible without any, and I know it's hard, without any inkling of like, I hope I don't throw a ball or I better throw a strike. Because more often times than not, when you're in a very aggressive state of mind, physically, you're way more free. Well, yeah. Right? So like when you're passive, don't throw a ball. I hope I throw a strike. Then physically you become restricted and that's probably when you miss time your slot and then that's when you get cuts, cuts, cuts. Well, yeah, it's like when I try to throw it as hard as I can, yeah. it doesn't cut. Yeah. But like if I throw it 85%, like yeah. that's when it's cutting. Exactly, because of the tempo of your fingers, right? All right, let's go to work. I don't want that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what to throw. Down. Up, oh, got it. <laughs> Perfect, now we'll go down. Yeah. Up. I feel like I just jumped out of like the pool with my shirt on. Up. So instead of like throwing it like up, up where you're ending here, like you have the ability to throw it here which is probably like a ball under the belt and still get a bat under the ball. All right, so let's go down. Good, up, yeah, one more set, down, up, down. All right, what breaking ball you wanna mix in? Let's go uh, another set of 10, and we'll go cut or slider. Are you good to throw like this much? Yeah. Well, I know, but you're in there tonight. Yeah, I'll be fine. I know, but he's giving me freaking trust issues right now. Just making sure. Because he's a catcher, he's not a pitcher. He doesn't understand how we're freaking bred. You have to make sure. No, you don't. Question I always ask. No, you don't have to. I want the cutter first. I'm going to I'm going to shade glove side. Cutter. Slider. I want that same intent though, right? Like that that to me from the get-go looks more like your heater, right? Probably why it played better in the game the other day. Whereas the slider, when I was catching you the pen, it looked like very kind of passive like, "Oh, I want to place it. I want You said to me in the dugout, "I want to land it." And it gave you kind of like a a more of a passive physical mentality, I would say. So same aggression. Yeah. That's nasty. No, that's nasty. You were giving me like the I know, shut up, give me the ball look. No, it's okay. Like, tell me to shut up. That's fine. Let's get to work. Cutter. Let's get down. Let's get down to business. Oh, that's great. Get in the lefty box. This is what you need. Your job is to get lefties out, make them look stupid. He's gonna get in the lefty box, throw that same slider. I leave the team and hit by pitches. I don't care. Here you go. We'll say that uh, that one's oh oh. Slider again. 
I think you're, you're thinking it's the finish, but the finish is a byproduct of the beginning. Just like in any good mummy movie. You had me before the good money I, I felt like I wanted to throw like a wrench in there. throws a good slider, it's all out here. Yes. It doesn't, it's all back here. Well, it's because his initial slider. It's because initially his tempo is better. Yeah, that's bad. Why? Let's, let's figure this out. Why is that bad? I think it's because in the beginning of your throw, right? So from the very beginning starting point of your leg lift, there's a different tempo as opposed to the first one you threw. That one looked rushed. You were trying to force like high tempo and like late acceleration with the hand right from when you lifted your leg. Whereas opposed to the first one, I saw a calm, cool, controlled, and then as I went, I trusted that my hand was gonna be there and boom. Does that make sense? And can you correlate that to a specific feeling that you're going through right now? Okay. Yes, but think about what happens when you think go faster as opposed to the original tempo of all your other throws. If you're gonna go faster, this isn't gonna be equipped to then be on top of the baseball. So it's about like, all right, you have identified what tempo you need to throw at, like in terms of the leg lifts and everything. Now you just need to stay with that same, same mentality and then finish with your hand in my glove. That's gonna give you that late, late launch. All right, here we go. Yes, and it's, I saw it night and day from the moment you lifted your leg. Do you see this, what I'm seeing? Yes. Okay, beautiful. 100%. All right, do it again. Slider. You see it again? Oh, we got it. No, we got it. That's what it is. Smooth is fast. Wow. Fat. Yeah. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Think about that, Alan Toff, you psycho. Cutter. Good. Very good. And it, then it's late movement. Bro, Those. That's. I'm gonna show you this video. All right, now, now paint me some cheddar cheese. Oh my gosh. Done. All day. Dude, yeah. Right? Like, we got it. We're locked. Dude, we're locked. Sweet. You, does that make sense? Yeah. Everything you got, right? Like, yeah. that that all clicked. That, because yeah, all I, sometimes I say things that make sense in my head but have no, like, common... Well, I didn't know that I was, like, on slider I was, like, I didn't know that I was speeding up the early part of my delivery. Yeah. I thought I was, like, yeah. speeding up my arm maybe, but yeah. not, like... Yeah. Well, in order to speed up your arm, there is a sense of you have to speed up your lift, right? Because like, these two things need to match. Like, it's like that I'm leaving my arm behind. And that's why they're hanging. Yeah. 